Okay, this how-to video is going to describe how to use the alignment features inside um, Allegro and or Cad PTP Editor. So you've been able to align components since about 16.2 uh, using the place replicate function. And uh, in 16.6, Cades have introduced um, some increased functionality. So if we go to the place application mode um, and you window the components that you want to align, and then you hover over the component that you wish to align to. This is all the same as, as it was in kind of an earlier versions of the tools. And then we do an align component. Now, what you'll notice now is that in the options menu, we get um, some increased functionality. So I can pick the alignment edge to, to align to. So we've got top, middle, and bottom. And what that does is based on the on the place bound top, the place bound bottom layer um, to align to. <coughs> There's also the functionality to, to effectively distribute the parts. So if we look at um, the equal spacing, this then gives me an equal spacing between all the parts with a specific amount, and this is 117.875, so I can go in and type 125. And then I've got this plus and minus to, to increase or reduce this, so we can obviously reduce the spacing right down to, to 35 mils, for example. <coughs> if you've got an Allegro PCB license, then uh, it uses the DFA constraints rule sets from the, from the DFA boundaries, um, and that gives you that functionality. If we just pan across to, to these components here, what we'll do is we'll do the same function. So we'll, we'll go into the place application mode, we'll window these items, we'll hover over the component we wish to align to, right mouse button align. Now you'll notice instead of using top and bottom, it now uses left and right because of the orientation of the components. <coughs>